separate. Read on. For I, the most high, am holy. For I, the most high, is separate. You so get down smart. You ain't got nothing to say now. What the hell is going on? What you say with me? Talking about heat from the south, you talk to cheap like a Roman noodle. All you talk about is what about the white man? I think you like a Roman noodle. How you pro black but love some white girls? Don't you know what they did to us? They gave us hers, made you hate yourself, made you pro abortion, made you feminist. Nah, 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 boo boo, don't let these people fool you. Called out their bamboozle, don't you know that you Hebrew? Pong, Asherala, in the Bible. But you don't know why. You don't know why you can make a connection to God. You know how many gods there is in this earth that how many nations believe in? But some reason, so called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans can make a distinct connection to the God of the Bible, man. They can make a distinct connection to the Exodus according to the Bible, man. There's a reason why. And we're going to prove that this day, man. And we're going to touch this Memorial Day that's coming on Monday. Give me Book Clutch chapter 3, verse 17. Because the Most High God said in the last days, He's going to bring forth His prophets, His teachers, and His teaching priests to edify and to teach the people, man. And that's what we're gonna do. Colossians 3:17. Read the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, right? Do all in the name of Hamashiach Kehoshai, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna say all praises to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for surely His mercy endure forever. And we're not gonna do it in no other name but the name of Yahweh, because that's, right. that's the name of God, man. Right. Our people are delusional. Our people are made simple by the Christianity and the Catholic Church, man. Our people need to come back to these law, statute, and commandments, because these law, statute, and commandments have not been given to everybody, that's but they've right. been given to a distinct people, and that's the Israelites. That's right. Give me the book of Isaiah, the, give me the book of Isaiah, 54, verse 15. We're going to read this according to the Bible, man, and we're going to touch this Memorial Day. On Monday, you so-called black and Spanish and Native Americans, you're going to keep a celebration called Memorial Day? What do you have to be keep Memorial Day for? What do you have to remember about Memorial Day? Right. It has nothing to do with you so-called blacks, man. Memorial Day was first established in 1819. And you Negroes are still slaves, man. Right. You were still slaves fighting the white man's, uh, the white man's war. Right. And you, you want to remember that. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 54, and verse 15. Behold, what? they should, behold, what? behold, behold, read. They shall surely gather together, but not by me. What the Lord say? Behold, Captain. they shall surely gather together, yes, sir, but yes, not sir, by me. They're going to gather me. together, but not by me. When they get it together to smoke weed, when they get it together to smoke black, when they get it together to go hook up with women, when they get it together to get drunk. I'm just hanging out with the boys tonight. It's girls, it's girls night out. Right, it's a what? It's a hot girl summer. It's a hot girl summer. Read that scripture one more time. The book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. It's a hot girl summer, but... A lot of women haven't been looking too hot recently. Read that one more time. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Right? They're going to gather together, but it's not oh, going to be by the Most High God. And if it's not established by the Most High God, if it's not established by the Most High God, it's destined to fall, man. It's destined to fall. That's why we're so called black conscious Negroes like to step up on our neighbors and say, oh, we need businesses. We need, we need more black leaders. When I look around, I see the black leaders. I see this brother as a black leader. I see this brother as a black leader. I see this brother as a Hispanic leader. Because they're going to teach our people the real thing to heal our people. And that's the commandments. That's right. Read. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. But not by me. Not by the most high God. Right? Okay, do you believe in God? And I see you're listening, so you must believe in the Bible. When it comes to the Bible, where do you find Venezuelan people? Yep. But think about it. The Bible is real. We up here, we're not Muslims, we're not Moors, we're none of that garbage. We are Israelites. That's right. And we believe in this Bible. And sister, you believe in God and you believe in this Bible, that's why you're stopping your listening. Right? So, as a Venezuelan woman, where do you find your people in the Bible? That's the question. Yeah. Want me to show you? I can show you. 
I'm going to show you according to the Bible. Hallelujah. Give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to show you according to the Bible who your people are. And also give me the book of 2 Ezra chapter 13. Because according to the Bible, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans of Indian descent are the children of Israel. The so-called the so -called Mesoamerican Indians that lived here in the Americas prior, pre-Spain, and pre-Columbus, guess what? They are Israelites. Don't worry about that, sister. There's always going to be a fight that's going, to be, that's going down here in South America. Not South America, in South Beach. There's always going to be a brother or sister that's drunk out their mind or about to fight or high. Don't worry about that. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. Right. If it shall come to pass. Right. If thou shalt hearken diligently. If you shall what? Hearken diligently. So the Most High God is speaking to an ethnic group. The ethnic group is the children of Israel. Right? It's going to lead back to the verse 20 people. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently on, unto the voice of the Most High thy power. Right. To observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. So the Most High God spoke to the children of Israel and said, If they were to observe and keep all his commandments, right? Read. That the Most High thy power will set thee on high. On what? On high. On high. Hey, sister, did you take a flyer? I appreciate that. Use that flyer. And I appreciate you stopping. Oh, the Bible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the. See the mic. He's front. When he wants to step up, he'll step up. That boy, that boy is. Give me the book of Deuteronomy. Give me the book of Isaiah 54, verse 15, and then go to Psalm chapter 127. But our deepest desire is for the so called Black Hispanics and Native Americans. That's right. Because they're in a destroyed state. Our people are lacking knowledge and wisdom. This is the reason why our people live in the hoods. This is the reason why our people are below the poverty line. This is why molestation is at an all-time high in our communities. Because our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So guess what? The most I gave us the knowledge. So guess who we're going to go to? The people who don't have it. If you have a question, step up. This is a free platform, man. What's your question, brother? I just want to hear Isaiah 44 and 6 before I go. I just want to hear Isaiah 44 and 6. All right, I'll read you. I'll read it. You, you, me, you were talking already. I know you would know you were an Israelite. Please, I just want to hear it. Isaiah 44 and 6? All right, he's going to get it after this verse. I'm going to get it for you. The book of Psalms, chapter 127 and verse 1. Right. Except the Most High build the house, they labor in vain. Hey, come talk to me for one second with the phone. Come talk to me for one second. Right now, we're teaching the Bible. We're preaching to our people who they are according to the Bible. That the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, they're the children of Israel. The most like God created you to be a special people. But our people don't know that. The book of Psalms chapter 127 and verse 1. We got your verse next. Except the most high build the, the, the house. What? They labor. Except the most high build the house. They labor in vain that build it. The most, unless it was the most high who built the house, they labor in it. If, if the most, unless it's the most high who build the house, they labor in vain. They labor in vain. Black lives matter. It is in vanity. Black Lives Matter is not going to save us. Black Lives Matter is against the nuclear family. It's against the father, wife, and child being in the household. That's what Black Lives it is established on. How about that? They didn't tell you that part, did they? Read. Except the most high keep the city. And sister, come talk to me for one second. Just give me one second. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in the Bible? What's your nationality? Are you African American? Yeah. What about her? Is she African American? Malachi. Shut up. Come on, come on. Now, yes, your, yes, ethnic, yes. your ethnicity. You're both African Americans? Yeah. Okay, now according to the Bible, right? Where do you find African Americans in the Bible? Think about it. And yeah, see, yeah, I always get that response. That's a good question, though, right? Yeah. It's a good question. And it's a good question your pastor should have taught you at Christian Church. But they didn't do it. Today, I'm going to show you who we are according to the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. The Most High God spoke to a nation of people. I'm going to make quick. I ain't going to stop you. The Most High God spoke to a nation of people called the children of Israel and said, if they broke my commandments, guess what? I'm going to take you and put you through something called transatlantic slavery. We don't see no other nation on this earth going through that beside the so-called African Americans who live here, the Jamaicans who live in the West Indies, the Haitians that live in Haiti. We don't see that happen to anyone else. Read Deuteronomy 20 and 68. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Right. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. With who? With 
ships. Most high God said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again with ships. The Jews were in Egypt in slavery. So when the Lord say, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again with ships, guess what? He's referring to that slavery. That slavery, they were in there for 400 years. So read it one more time for the sisters. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again with right. ships. With what? With ships. With ships, right? So give me the slave sign. Give me the slave sign. Oh read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And did our people who came here as slaves, who still live here today, did we ever leave? Did the Jamaicans leave Jamaica? Did the Haitians leave Haiti? No, they didn't. So now, what's the reason for that? You see? Yeah, I see. Yeah, you see, yeah. right? Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You're going to be sold unto what? Unto your enemies. Is the so-called white man our friend or our enemy? He's our friend or our enemy? He's our enemy. Why? No, I, I because they enslaved us. But I'm going to make it quick for you. You ain't going to get drunk. This is better than getting drunk. There's nothing better than getting drunk on than the word of the Most High God. That's right. Right. Read. It says, let me read the precept and I'll let you go. How about that? Okay. That's good? Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Naomi. See, that's in my Bible. Read. Precept. Read. Yeah, read the precept. The book of Sirach, chapter 40, and verse 20. Wine and music rejoice the heart, but what? the love of wisdom is above them both. We do it one more time. Wine and music rejoice the heart, but the love of wisdom. The love of what? The love of, of wisdom. wisdom. You can always get drunk. And you, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. With you. Now for real, you can always get drunk. You can always drink, get wine, get Patron, get all crown, get all of that. But you're not always gonna have this. Right. You don't wanna have brothers out here standing out to teach and preach to their people, man. That's, That's right. right. So sis, let me give you one more free scripture before you leave. How about that? Is that good? Oh my God. Is that good? You just said one more, I'll let you get that I one. I know, but he, he came out with a powerful scripture right there. You can't, you can't stop that. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, but I'm really Can I get one more first before you go? That's it. Is that good? Okay. Is that cool? Do it while we're walking. Away. All right, walk slowly, walk slowly, walk slowly. Keep to Romans chapter 20, verse 47. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 47. Right. Because thou servest not the most high thy power with joyfulness. With what? With joyfulness. We serve our people with joyfulness. Read. And with gladness of heart. And with gladness of heart. Come on. For the abundance of all things. Right. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Thy what? Thine enemies. Thy who? Thine enemies. Your slavers, your oppressors, the people who are murdering you and killing you in your neighborhoods. Who are forcing you out of your neighborhoods through gentrification? The people who gave you pan, Planned Parenthood, where you so-called black women, Hispanic women, are committing abortions with your children that you're having, right? Your enemies read. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies? Thy what? Thine enemies. Thy enemies. Come on. Which the Most High shall send against thee, right? In hunger. In what? In, In hunger. hunger. In hunger. So when you're hungry, you're going to what? You're going to their restaurants. You're going to their grocery stores because you don't have one. You don't have a restaurant, you don't have a grocery store, you don't have Walmart, and you don't have Publix. But guess what? They do. So guess what? You're going to go to them. Read. And in thirst. And in thirst. Come on. And in nakedness. Read. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. And this is so much more the powerful. It's so much powerful. It's so much the more powerful for the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. For the one of all things. Because you was here before the Spanish came here. You was here before the English was here. You was here before any other ethnic group had any settlements here in America. And guess what? Now you're going to them for everything. When you had this country. That's what makes it so much powerful for you so-called Hispanics. Makes it so much powerful for you Native Americans. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Until he has destroyed you, man. They make this so simple. You can search up on Google and search up yoke of iron. You see slaves. You see Hispanics. You see Spaniards killing and murdering so-called native Indians, man. They make this so simple, man. But the most High God said what? Daniel chapter 12 verse 4. He wanted to die Isaiah too. Ooh, ooh, him? Yeah, he, uh, hey, step up, step, come here, come here, brother, come here. I'm gonna read that scripture for you. And I'm gonna tell you something. The reason why I hold off from reading it is because you should be standing here reading it for me. That's right. That's why. You should be reading it. You, you could, but I need you to come to the congregation first. 